Hello everyone and welcome to Me and My Metal Detector. Me and My Metal Detector is a game by Sven Kamrath, better known as Weasel Zone. Weasel Zone is a guy that I collabed with quite a few times, a good friend of mine. And he uh, he entered this game into the Ludum Dare, or Ludum Dare, I'm not really sure the pronunciation there. But that competition, he entered it, it's uh, basically you have 48 hours to create a game. Each Ludum Dare competition has a particular theme and this theme was under the surface so that's why this game is about uh, using a metal detector and it's actually pretty fun so basically I've managed to beat it once it took me quite a while the game has a pretty good balance of difficulty okay so and also I should mention that all the sound effects are created uh, the the music is created by a guitar obviously weasel I think play the guitar for this little like background music and all the visuals were created by him I would assume hand drawn by him and the sound effects are just his voice oh I landed right on something right away so uh, all you gotta do is walk around with your metal detector and pick up coins and uh, there's also a gigantic tornado chasing you so so what you do is you listen for the little beeps and when you're close enough you'll see a little check mark and then you'll hear weasel going and then uh, and then you collect stuff and you can hear also the sound effects of the tornado. Swoosh. Swoosh. That's him too. Everything is him. The beeps are him. The waves are probably him. I think there might be like... Yeah, the waves are him, but there's also like a little sound effect in the background that's not him, I think. Anyway, this game is just... It's, it's an entertaining little game. Like I said, it was only created in 48 hours, so... Actually, I think he created it in less than 48 hours. I think he did in like 26 or something. He basically live streamed most of it. Um, I'm actually doing not too bad. Every time you pick up one of these things, you get another 10 seconds. Come on. There we go. It's uh, It takes a little bit to get used to, though, because... Oh, another one. Because you have to kind of just learn like how far away you're going to be from something once you hear the beeping and things like that. That's why um, I think it has a good difficulty balance. It takes a while... And then it's not too easy because once you find something, you only have a few seconds before the fucking tornado comes after you again. Oh, oh we're beeping. There we go. We got it. Okay, so we got... What's... Okay, half of half of 15 and seven and a half. So we have eight, eight treasures left to get. So, come on. Where are you two? There, oh, oh. Gotcha. The swooshes are getting closer. Hooray! So yeah, I've beaten this game once. Uh, I actually like just beat it, and then I decided I was going to record a video on it because I wanted to show you guys. Just because, not only because Weasel is a is a good friend of mine, but also because this game is actually pretty entertaining, and uh, like I said, quite difficult. So I'm actually doing really well. Um, I'm just running into a lot of uh, a lot of treasures. What I do is I just go with little like um, small, basically gaps in between my footprints, and then I try and. Uh, cover the most ground possible, which you obviously have to do if you want to win. And I want to win again. There we go. And we still have 47 seconds. Each time you get an extra 15, I think, every time you pick something up. Okay. Come on. Let's let's do this. Get away from me, tornado. Okay. Patiently waiting for a, for a beep. Come on. Beep me. Oh, there's a beep. Where was it? Over here? We got it. No. No. Okay, we're good. We got away. <laughs> that damn tornado is uh, is nerve wracking when you're trying to pick up your shit and all you're hearing is beep 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 swoosh swoosh swoosh. All right. Okay. I don't. Oh. Oh. Come on. No, we're not gonna be able to get this one. Shit. It's too close to me. I can't. I gotta lure him away, and by the time I lure him away, I'm gonna be done. Damn it. Okay. Come on. There we go. Come on, over here. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so there you go. I lost. I want to show you a couple more things. I want to show you what it sounds like when you uh, when you don't get it. Aww. Aww. And I also want to show you a little hidden Easter egg that I found. You can actually see it from the main menu. I only just noticed that when I started up the game again to show you guys. Okay, there's so many treasures apparently buried over here on my way over to the uh, Easter egg. Okay, all right. Unfortunately, he didn't apparently have enough time to make mustache, mustache, birds, and uh, and random objects on the ground. But uh, still a great effort here. 
So there we go. There is the Easter egg. It's a dick butt. Look at that. All right. So unfortunately, you can't vote on this game, and it makes sense actually that you can't vote on the games because that would be kind of like a vote fuzzing kind of thing, or or a vote uh, uh, vote brigading, I guess. If you if you were a popular person, you could just tell all your followers to go vote for you and win. And that's not what the Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare is about. It's about creating a good game and being genuinely voted as a as a good game. There's a bunch of different categories. You lose. I lost. All right. So that was game over. Obviously, I only got zero treasures. And uh, as I said, I'm pretty sure you can see the dick butt down there by the uh, <laughs> by the treasure chest. So you guys can play this game on the Ludum Dare website. Um, I'll post a link in the description as well as a link to uh, Weasel's YouTube and Twitter because why not? All right. So you guys can check him out if you haven't already. I might even post links to the uh, collaborations that me and him have done. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you later. Goodbye.